അനിമേഷൻ ഞാൻ അങ്ങ് ലീവ് ചെയ്യുവാണ് അപ്പുറത്തേക്ക് ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു What to write? If you are not passionate enough from the start, you will never stick it out. Hello everyone, am I audible? Sorry, it's going to be one. Welcome to today's webinar on Nano Devices, Materials and Fabrication, conducted as a part of Epsilon. Faculty Lecture Series Coordinated by EACE Electronics and Communication Engineering Department Association of ISAT. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. I am Deirubha Alima of S4ECE and Devika Rishimbal of S2ECE, the host of the day. It's my great pleasure and honor to introduce our resource person, Professor Dr. Neenu Joseph of ECE Department ISAC, who obtained her input in VLSI Design, PhD in VLSI for Wireless Communication and MPA in Educational Management. I welcome you, ma'am. Next. I welcome all the other faculty members and student participants to this webinar. A happy welcome to you all once again. I believe that the session will be profitable, enjoyable and useful ones for all of you. Now, without any further ado, we will turn the time over to Professor Dr. Nino Joseph. Ma'am, please. Thank you, Dilroba. And all. Let me share my screen. Good afternoon all. Today I am going to talk about nanomaterials, devices and fabrication. Here I am going to give an overview of what is nanotechnology, nanomaterials, nanodevices, basic of fabrication of nanodevices and some examples applications of nanotechnology in medical field. First of all, 
what do you mean by nanotechnology? The development of materials and devices by exploiting the characteristics of particle on the nanoscale. A field of applied science focused on design, formation, identification and application of materials and devices on the nanoscale. It's called nanotechnology. One of the most exciting and fast moving technology in science today. We can see the nanostructure in flowers, plants and animals in nature. The scientist can create nanostructure by rearranging atoms of an object. They can make nanomaterial with new properties. Example, nano silver. It's used in food nanotechnology. The nanotechnology is the control of matter on the atomic level. The ability to build using atoms as building blocks. The manufacture of novel materials with novel properties. And what is the nanometer? As we all know, this is equal to 10 power minus 9 meter. That is one billion of a meter. What is a nanostructure? At least one dimension, less than 100 nanometer structure. For example, a sheet of paper is about one lakh nanometer thick. And considering a human hair, it's around 80,000 to one lakh nanometer wide. Why study nanoscience and nanotechnology? Nanoscience is a study of fundamental principles of nanostructures between bulk and atomic properties. Knowledge is the application of nanostructures into useful devices. We can go through the history of nano devices or nanotechnology. From the very beginning, at the year 500 to 1400 year, a stained no. glass is used. And coming to 800th year to 1600th year, nanoparticles in pottery. And 1200 to 1700, Damascus steel swords. The pictures are given in the slide. And coming to 1910, particle sizes described in nanometer. In 59, Simon's speech, the particles of physics as far as I can see do not speak against the possibility of maneuvering things atom by atom. And coming to 1970, nanotechnology coined the search done by Taniguchi. And in 1981, Binning and Rocher proposed first atom scene. It's through STM, scanning, tunneling, microscope. And in 1986, Engines of Creation, The Coming Age of Nanotechnology by Richard Trelitzer. He says, nanotechnology is the principle of atom, manipulation atom by atom through control of the structure of matter at the molecular level. It entails the ability to build molecular system with atom by atom precision yielding a variety of nano machines. And now this is the researchers going on in nano electronics or nanotechnology field and the research is done in a clean room facility. Next, why nano is interesting? Here particles are very small size, high surface to volume ratio, react differently and act differently. Interact with light differently, that is optical property, are on the scale of small biological structures. And come to quantum machines made classical machines or structures. Interesting materials with nanoparticles embedded. What is a nanoparticle? An example is a bulky ball. 
It's called a full ring. Picture is shown here. It's around 1 nanometer thick and it consists of 60 carbon atoms linked together in one unit. How big is nano? The ratio can be imagined as ratio earth to football that is equal to ratio football to fullery. That is the ratio of the size of the nano. How big is a nanometer? It's a million times smaller than the smallest measurement you can see on a roller. The smallest measurement is millimeter. It's a million of millimeter is called a nanometer and also equal to billionth of a meter. This is the image of a human hair. Here a silver nanowire resting on the human hair. That is the picture shows. It is about 20 micrometer thick. Why nano? The properties are at the nano scale strange things happen to materials. Things properties can change. Here the properties reactivity, size and magnetism. As the particles get smaller, they tend to react differently with their environment than larger particles. Coming to size, smaller particles can have different op optical properties. Their colors change because different sizes of particles reflect and absorb light differently. And in magnetism, smaller particles can have different magnetic properties than the larger particles. Coming to reactivity, the necessary understanding. Here the picture shows a big uh, nanometer, big material is here and it is partitioned into different smaller parts, materials. What an atom, a molecule, a nanoparticle and a chemical reaction is. How the surface of a cube is calculated. How the volume of a cube is calculated. It's different in different size. According to the size, it will be different. And in an example, I can show you the sugar. First picture shows the granulated sugar and second is the sugar cubes. You can imagine which do dissolves faster in the water. Example, which is about gold. The gold can be in different size. The color of gold may vary according to the size from purple to red. And here the optical property and absorb light uh, according to the size is different. The second picture shows the of the gold particle. And this, uh, this picture, 100 years ago, the picture is known as an art. Now it can be known as nanotechnology. The technology behind this type of picture is nanotechnology. Here, uh, nanoparticle is used here is gold. According to the size of the gold, the color may vary. Example, red stained glass gets its color from nanoparticles of gold that are only 20 nanometers across. And coming to orange color, the size of gold particle is 80 nanometer. According to the size of the particle, the color also will change. There are some examples in uh, health medical side. Uh, the nanotechnology is used in diagnostics, cancer treatment and targeted drug delivery. Data data and in materials. Here we, you can show, see that the cosmetics, the particle used for cosmetics is nanotechnology, nanomaterial is used there and the clothing 
and space elevators. Here the material is used. Here is nanoparticle and in sports industry is nanoparticles. And coming to the technology, as we all know, the laptops, mobile phones, laptop chips, computer chips are now made up of using nanotech processing, morphing computers and smaller size, more powerful mobile devices. And coming to environment, cleaner energy, better energy storage and treatment of water. Here all examples we use this nanotechnology. How do we build small things? Computer chips can be made top down. Sorry. Computer chips can be made top down building something by starting with a larger component and carving away material. Example like a sculpture. In the top down approach, narrow objects are constructed from larger entities without the level control. Coming to metal bottom up approach, metal nano layers are made bottom up building something by assembling smaller components. Example, like building a car engine or Lego. Torch materials and devices are built from molecular components which assemble themselves chemically by principles of molecular recognition. At the size of the materials, here you can show this nanometer scale and the carbon 60 and DNA is of around 1 nanometer in size and coming to carbon nanotube proteins is of size 10 nanometer the nanoparticle in between 10 nanometer and 100 nanometer is of size 100 nanometer and coming to 1 micron uh, last red blood cells it's of size around microns and coming to the human hair it's around 1 millimeter in thickness beyond the magnifying glass these are the equipments used for nanotechnology, optical microscopes, it uses light technology or laser, an electron microscope, here it uses electron beams, surface analysis, element analysis and more. And the sum of the microscope are given here, it's atomic force microscope, which can, which can be uh, model and demonstrated in class with let go. Techniques for measuring the size of nanoparticles are the same as uh, AFM or STM, atomic force microscope or scanning tunneling microscope. There are a lot of uh, microscopes are available in nanotechnology. Uh, it's partitions, partitioned into two types, electron microscopy and optical microscopy and for given uh, sedimentation, disk centrifuge, electroson sensing, PCS, dynamic light scattering, laser diffraction, acoustic spectroscopy, these are the examples. And coming to the types of nanomaterial, nanomaterials can be occur naturally, be produced by human activity either as a product of another activity engineered. Our focus engineered nanomaterial as these are splitted into products because of the specific characteristics of the nanomaterial. These are the example uh, naturally occurring forest fires, sea spray, mineral composites, naturally occurring human origin cooking smoke, welding fumes, industrial effluence, sand dusting. These are the human origin related nanomaterial 
and engineered the third type metals, quantum dots, buckyballs or nanotubes, sunscreen pigments, nanocapsules, etc. These are the pictures. Purchase of two nanotechnology as said earlier, the same as in the nano materials, top down approach and bottom up approach. In top down approach, etching a block of material down to the desired shape uh, like chips and processes. Bottom up approach, building materials atom by atom like Lego. Example nanoparticles such as C60. Uh, this is the C60 bulb uh, and also it is called as fullering for the nanotubes or car quantum dots. Next is the classes of nanomaterial. Nanomaterial can be of bulk type, surface type, particle type. Bulk type, the full bulk or full material is of nanotype. Uh, in surface type, a thin layer is formed on the surface of the uh, thin layer of nanomaterial with nanomaterial is coated on a uh, substrate and in particle size, the particles, nanoparticles are used for the fabrication. So example of nano zinc oxide, it can be appeared in many shapes according to the size of the particle. Why are nanomaterials used? At nanoscale, the material properties change. Melting point, like melting point, fluorescence, electrical conductivity and chemical reactivity. Surface size is larger, so a great amount, greater amount of the material comes into contact with surrounding materials and increases nanomaterial property by varying the size of the particle. Example, changing the fluorescence color so a particle can be identified. It offers a variety of function to proteases. According to the size, the color and properties of the particle will vary Example of nanomaterials in products. Amorphous silica fume in ultra high performance. The silicon throughout to human risk practice as nano silica dust. Nano platinum or in vehicle catalyst converters. Higher surface area to volume of particle gives increased reactivity and therefore increased efficiency. The type crystalline silica fume is used an additive in paints or coatings giving example self-cleaning characteristics. It has a needle-like structure and sharp edges so is very toxic and it is known as a silicon about occupational exposure. These are some examples shown in picture. Nano now and in the future. In the 2000, in 2004, a scientist working in the US proposed four generation of nanotechnologies with the first generation already existing nanomaterial. First generation generally combines a nanomaterial with another material to introduce a new functionality or enhance performance behavior, complexity and ethical issues. Generational timeline was optimistic. Here the five, first of all, they introduced the fourth generation and now we are on the fifth generation. The first generation passive are introduced example called things nanostructured metals polymers ceramics uh, 2000 and coming to the 2005 
second and two two thousand five for active nerve structures. Example, this like amplifiers, actuators, adaptive structures. And come to 2010, third generation systems of nano systems. Example, guided assembly, 3D networking, and new hierarchical architectures like robotics, evolutionary. Come to fourth generation, 2010 to 2015, systems. Example, molecular devices by design, atomic design. Emerging functions. 2015 to 2020 up to now. This is a fifth generation converging technologies. Example: nano bio info from nano scale, cognitive technologies, large complex systems from nano scale. The size spectrum of environmental particles. Here, the nano scale contaminates in. Water and air. The size is given uh, H2O particle 0.2 nanometer. Hemoglobin is around 7 nanometer. Virus is 10 to 100 nanometer. Microbial cells per meter. Protozoa greater than 2 micrometer. Like this. And here, fuller in some nanotubes is around one nanometer to ten nanometer size. What are the nano material of nanotechnology? Some types of nano structures are given here. There is clusters, nano crystals, or quantum dot. Quantum dot is also called zero-dimensional nano structure. Radius is around one to ten nanometer. Materials: insulators, semiconductors, metals, magnetic materials. And second, other nanoparticles of radius hundred nanometer, ceramic oxide, bucky balls, etc. The nano wire diameter is one to hundred nanometer. Metal, semiconductor, oxides, sulfates, nitrates. Then the fourth category are tubes, diameter one to hundred nanometer, carbon, including fullerenes, layered structures. And the properties of nano materials are some properties are listed here. Catalytic properties that are catalytic efficiency to higher surface to volume ratio. Property increased electrical conductivity in ceramics and magnetic nano composites increased electrical resistance in metals. The property increased magnetic conductivity up to a critical grade size. existing system and ultra fine aerosols dispersion in gases liquids 
coming to quantum dots chemical composition metals metal oxides carbon semiconductors biomolecules and compounds and nanotubes aggregation state single particle aggregates agglomerates and coming to nanoparticle untreated coated core or shell particles these are the some properties and uh, structure of uh, nanostructures and coming to the application of nanotechnology the application include automotive industry uh, like lightweight construction painting catalyst tires etc and coming to chemical industry fillers for paint system coating system based on nano composites etc and in coming to engineering side for tools and machines lubricant free bearings and coming to electronic industry they like mram gmr hd displays like oil led fed glass fibers etc construction site construction material thermal insulation flame radiants surface functionalized building materials for wood floors stone facades tiles roof tiles etc coming to medicine drug delivery system active agents contrast medium medical rapid test etc and in textile fabrics non woven surface process textiles energy fuel cells solar cells batteries capacitors and coming to cosmetic side sun protection cream lipsticks etc food and drinks package materials storage life senses etc house household items ceramic coatings for ions odors catalyst coming to sports or outdoor anti fogging of glasses goggles anti folding coatings for ships or boats etc the challenges faced in nanotechnology help clean up past environmental damage correct present environmental problems prevent future environmental impacts and finally help sustain the planet for future generations for example nano titanium dioxide the research is given uh, when titanium dioxide nano particle were fed into a mice is drinking water they showed dna damage in the mice and second experiment when pregnant mice were injected under the skin with titanium dioxide the nano particles were found in the offspring and caused reduced sperm production and brain cell death in the male offspring coming to carbon nanotubes this are same as aspartos both are long rigid fiber like tubes both have the diameter of about 100 to 200 nanometer both cause cyto toxicity dna damage mutation both cause size dependent inflammation granulomas fibrosis the pictures shown in the uh, nano tubes these are the nano tube structures and coming to nano silver silver is a priority pollutant whose discharge is regulated by epa under the clean water act hundreds of consumer products claim to use nano silver nano silver is mainly used in food nanotechnology nano silver like silver kills both harmful and beneficial microbes 
the nano scale version is more toxic than regular silver this is free ions in cultured mouse stem cells a 48 hour treatment of nano silver was 45 fold more toxic than silver carbonate and coming to the fabrication of nano material a nano material is a structure which is smaller than 100 nanometer in at least one dimension first these are the classifications of nano structures zero dimensional nano particles that is also called quantum dot one dimensional nano wire or nano tubes or it's called quantum well and 2d structure thin films and 3d structure porous structures or it is called bulk 1d structure is called quantum wire and 2d structure is called quantum well types of fabrication here also the fabrication can be of bottom up approach or top down approach the first starting stage is uh, crystal growth zero particle and 1d particle and also in 2d film and top down approach milling large size distribution no control of shape impurities and the method uh, final method starting method is lithography as the zero particle synthesis example method is given here reduction of acid h a u c l 4 with sodium citrate gold nanoparticle and second one is one dimensional nano structure that is nano wires example nano viscous and fibers nano rods and nano belts nano wires and carbon nano tubes and here also bottom up approach as well as top down approach can be used in bottom up approach anisotropic spontaneous growth template directed in top down approach laser ablation synthesis of carbon nanotubes can be used and there is example of template based as the cross section of nano wire in template then synthesis of carbon nanotubes the laser ablation is used king of graphite or coal this is the instrument used for laser ablation uh, combustion synthesis burn hydrocarbon at low pressure and coming to 2d nano structure it's called quantum well thin films thickness less than 100 nanometer is used here and the sources are used here vapor deposition uh, like thermal evaporation sputtering chemical vapor deposition are used then solution deposition uh, self assembly or electroplating or spin coating can be used first one thermal evaporation one or two methods i will explain here Uh, thermal evaporation this is the equipment used for thermal ev evaporation the process happening in a chamber uh, will be created
so here the plasma argon gas is targeted towards the target placed here hit the target and emit the electrons and these electrons are placed on the wafer likewise the thin film is formed then chemical vapor deposition uh, one more approach is there physical vapor deposition um, here rough vacuum reactive glasses added chemical reaction in gas phase or ion surface to the application of t in medical field first we will discuss about the nanomedicine nanotechnology applied medically breakthroughs in medicine like advanced biomedical research tools labels to experiments study of dna and its component genes diagnostics test inborn in -born implants etc details drug delivery methods system that deliver drugs to specific sites sample methods used are smart drugs nano composite hydrogel systems magnetic nanoparticles detail on this drug delivery smart drugs attack specific antigens immunotoxins that are protein in nature consist of an antibody part and toxic part and the second type nano composite hydrogel systems thermo therapeutic process releases drugs that are encapsulated on heating gold nano shells or nano particles can be used here ideal wavelength of light are infrared that is 800 to 1200 nanometer and the third method is magnetic nanoparticles drugs are bound to a na magnetic nanoparticle carry drugs to malignant sites with magnetic fields release the drugs by enzymatic activity this type one <clears throat> process picture then the second method application for in medical field detection uh, it is used for cancer or virus detection inside the body carbon nanotopes gold nanoparticles and nano dots or nanowire can be used for the uh, detection for gene detection silicon nanowires are used uh, first of all carbon nanotube covered with the monoclonal antibodies antibodies for growth factor receptor commonly found in cancer cells current increases measured here this similar in use to nanotubes antibodies attached to the current changes are measured can be applied to cancer cell Unnest by using gold nanoparticle or nano dots. Similar application: antibodies are attached to the nanoparticle. Nanoparticle antibodies bind to the cancer cell. Colors reflected when light hits on the particle. Shape and sizes affect the color. And coming to the gene detection, uh, it uses uh, here we use silicon nanowire. Can detect specific genes, nucleic acids attached to nanowires. Specific sequences can be created. Sensor capable of differentiating mutated and non mutated genes. PCR not needed. Detection time lowered here. And coming to the imaging techniques, the conventional techniques used in hospitals are. X ray, MRI, fluoroscopy, CAT scan, 
the limitations of these methods are limited details we get difficult to track the movement here we use molecular tracking use quantum dots as labels to the molecules fluoroscopy used to do track movement dots seen and next method is tracking blood flow of cells with gold nanoparticle of angiogenesis angiogenesis important for cancer detection and imaging then coming to cancer imaging gold nanoparticle localization ct scan shows cancerous regions possible concerns you have to look at uh, look on this negative side effects toxicity of quantum effect of organisms not well known particles is safer biologically inert won't interact with but it is somewhat costly one conclusion nanoscale materials will have an increasingly important impact on a number of sectors including biotechnology electronics information technology energy aerospace and industrial products waste ceramic powder market is likely to grow with a healthy growth rate 10 percentage per year in the next 5 years swnt are likely to see some exciting application such as microscope field emission devices and some membrane applications more under market at more companies you know material market there will be increasing number number of such as technology licensing and join marketing to achieve faster communication commercialization of the new products the development funding of nanotechnology and nanomaterials will continue to increase and nanomaterials will continue in this decade is there any questions uh, if you have any questions or inquiries you can ask in the chat box or you can just unmute and ask yourself those who have any questions can either type the questions in the chat box or can unmute your mic and speak up
I think there is no questions from the audience side. Uh, so, Europa, can you continue? It looks like you have covered all the doubts. I mean, there is no doubts again. Ma'am, is there anything like you wanted to cover before I wrap up? No, they'll go. Thank you. At the outset, I thank Dr. Ninu Joseph, who spent her valuable time with us, filling us with her immense knowledge. The session clearly mentioned the history and evolution of nanotechnology. Ma'am, we are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence. Thank you so much, ma'am. A special thanks to the EAS EC Department Association of ISAT, who organized this webinar, and a heartfelt thanks to all our faculty and students for your active participation. Once again, thanking you all. Link for the feedback form is provided in the chat box. Chamberlain and Dilrubha Alima signing off. Thank you once again, everyone.